casual fatalism. Now I do these videos live, and I will be honest with you, I lost my tweet uh, feed just for a moment. So now we're looking at some newer tweets, and this is one I did very recently called Casual Fatalism. And you can look up what normal fatalism is on Wikipedia or on Google, DuckDuckGo, or anywhere else, um, dictionary.com, wherever you want to go for your resources and your definitions. Fatalism, in a nutshell, is basically uh, understanding what can be moved and what can't be moved. Knowing the difference between, between those two and taking the paths that make the most sense and understanding what you can and can't do and where to focus your attention, it's in that, in that range. But I'll talk about it here, casual fatalism. The casual kind of fatalism, the kind you can apply at any time, um, but maybe shouldn't be a uh, chronic or consistent thing uh, with you. It's up to you. You make the choice. So, certain forces can't be stopped. May they be logical or illogical, rational or irrational. Others can be countered reasoned with, negotiated, overcome. Determine if one or two, map inevitability, focus on what can move, worry less about what can't, feels good. I didn't really want to do that. That, that, that just came to me, but hey. Kind of works sometimes, like knowing what you can tell, hey, fuck off. You know, when you, want, when, you, when you just want to tell something to fuck off, but you want to make sure that it's something that isn't, you know, it, it, you want to be able to ignore what is not changeable and or important. So with this, you, you look at it, you say certain forces can't be stopped. Certain forces, they have inertia that can't be stopped. May they be logical or illogical. So it might be something that's a friggin' phantom coming after you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It might be something completely illogical. Somebody or something or a group that's out of control. It's rational or irrational. It might be something that you know is irrational, but it, it's, it, can't be, it can't be moved, it can't be changed, or it can only be mildly changed and barely moved. But other forces can be countered. They can be reasoned with. They can be negotiated with. And they can be overcome. So all it is is you just determine if something is one or two, and you put the time in, you know, you do the proverbial research, as they call it, and you really spend a lot of time watching the cycles of things. Focus on collecting as much information as you can possibly imagine that is relevant to you and relevant to your interests. Then determine if something can be moved or can't be moved. Some things look like they can be moved, but can't be moved. Some things can't be moved, but they look, they look like they can be moved. Everything, I'm, I'm being very repetitive now, but you determine if one or two, and you map the inevitability, and that's what I just did. At length, you focus on what can move, because you know that there's some malleability, malle malleability there can change it. You can change the outcome. You have control. Control is good. Control is fun. Some people get addicted to control. <laughs> Some people get addicted to control. We call them authoritarians. Yeah. But you have to worry less. If you want to, you know, 
be based or you know be your own person and and you want to, to not be as easily manipulated or controlled you need to worry less about what can't be changed otherwise you're worrying about something that is just inevitable and if you're worrying about the inevitable well it's a waste of time it's a waste of time simple as that